recorded Sunday, September 25th. Fresh after Hurricane Fiona came and Austin popped. Now two guys so stupid, they forgot about the intro. Hey, Davey. Hey, Bear. How are What's you? happening, buddy? Good, man. Good. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. It's been quite a while. There's been a lot that has gone on in the world of Barry and Dave and Stupid About Cars. Yeah, and, everything's uh, changing, Barry. Everything's changing. No doubt, no doubt. It's all good, man. So, speaking of everything changes, there's uh, also another show that we've been uh, working on, which is called True Modern Democracy. You can check it out online. Um, and uh, I've been doing that with... Uh, with uh, We've had Josh uh, on the Stupid About Cars show before, have we not? Yeah, So, I definitely. think uh, people are mostly familiar with that fella. And uh, that would be uh, Josh, my brother Josh. Hello, Josh, my brother Josh. Morning, morning, gentlemen. Morning. It's afternoon here. But thanks for noticing. Way down uh, there in Nova Scotia. Yes, beautiful Nova Scotia. Yeah, absolutely. Wind blowing Nova Scotia. We got a pretty beauty day here in Squamish, BC. Oh, today is gorgeous. And yeah, last night, great. man, after all that wind from Hurricane Fiona, last night that the, the sky was so clear, the stars, you could just reach out and touch them. It was beautiful. <laughs> Did you feel any effects of it? Like, was it, was it like... Oh, we were huffing and puffing. We took everything inside, took all the patio furniture. I strapped it yeah. to the to the walls and the fences and stuff like that. Took all the cushions in and... We did a quite a good job of battening down the hatches, and we had my outdoor bar fell over, um, and a little teak teak fold away sort of cool thing that fell over, but uh, picked it up. It was fine. None none of the glasses or shot glasses or anything inside were broken, which was pretty nice. Perfect. And uh, yeah, man, yeah, well, that was about it. Just busy cleaning leaves out of the pool. It's uh, quite. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there's quite a bit of debris floating in the pool. But, yeah, I saw the videos of the houses on the ocean. Yeah, That's you know, pretty, I got to be honest crazy. with you. I mean, I don't think that it was uh, it was as bad. I've been waiting to hear a death toll. Uh, there's one lady possibly missing, from what I hear. There was another lady that was preparing for the storm and slipped on the stairs and fell and killed herself, yeah. I think. So there is, you know, definite carnage, but not nearly as bad as what it could have been. We went for a drive there, me and the missus, the other day, and it was, there was a lot of trees uprouted and broken and stuff like that. It was not the best thing in the world, but... Yeah, I think I heard somewhere that it broke a record for the lowest lowest pressure, pressure. system to make it, yeah, to make its way through Canada. And cross Canada, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, nope, definitely. It was definitely a, a force that was quite windy and, yeah, it was kind of scary. But, you know, you try and prepare and hope for the best is what it is. That's what, right. what I What slays me, to be honest with you, is, is the, the, first of all, in Nova Scotia, spend some money on your infrastructure, get the power wires underground. Same with British Columbia. Stick some power wires underground. It's not that hard. They're like, oh, there's a lot of rock in the ground. We can't do that. Listen, you've got fiber optic cables spanning across the ocean. You you can figure stuff out. You figure figure it out, man. Just bury some yeah. damn wires. It's not a big deal, you know. We yeah, I don't think it tunnels be too through hard. mountains. Like, yeah, it can be done, you know. But uh, are you gonna are you gonna pay for it, Barry? Well, well not but the, the amount that they're paying right now by shipping all these companies in to come and fix all the damage that's done that would cover the cost, wouldn't it? I don't think you would so, think but... so. Oh yeah. Governments uh, don't think long term, though. They think in the now. Well, Nova Scotia, the the uh, the head of the the NSP, the Nova Scotia Power, actually said that the millions of dollars of bonuses that they gave themselves, they want more from the government to be able to pay themselves more, because if they earn more, that will incentivize incentivize sizes zizzles as of them. To uh, to to do more, right? Yeah, no, yeah, that's just dumb, just dumb. They just want more money. Yep, no, that's all. Yeah, yep, absolutely. I want more money. I want more money too, though. 
I, I, I could kind of think of something right now. I don't need any more money because this show is going to make us gajillions. <laughs> Davey already said he's winning the lottery and going to buy me oh, half of Nova Scotia. So no, I'm okay. No, a bungalow. A bungalow. A bungalow in BC, which is equivalent to half of Nova Scotia. So, so do you think if we wrapped the earth in power wires, right? In bubble wrap. Ooh. Like we just kept putting more power around and around and around. That would make an electron like that would like make us into a battery or a like into a giant battery. capacitor. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is that what they're gonna do to us? <laughs> Maybe that's what Tesla, because you know Tesla had the great thing this he took to his grave. Free power. He could train that Whoa. thing he was building. You know, they're work they're working on that. They're working on that again, transmitting the power through the ionosphere. Yeah. Good. But there's um, got to be a repercussion to it. Like if you run that, voltage, like you were just saying, like we like should I drill holes in the like ground. My bear, right? Mug, if you're running serious bear, voltage through that ground, bear mug. that's going to change some bear. shit, man. Don't you think? Bear. I, 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 I think we should go with what Barry's talking about and do the Tesla thing. So then, then you, then, then your electric cars are going to work because they're just going to have power transmitted to them all the time. They, but um, then, but they, they won't be electric cars. They'll just be cars. No, there won't be any be other. Cars. Why would you? Why well, would you get? Yeah. get no, thinking about it. So you would rather question. have like. So if there was free energy, and you could just build a car and put a motor, and it just ran itself because of this Tesla free energy thing, yeah. hmm. would you still? And remember, electric vehicles, more power, unbelievable torque, super fast, blah blah blah, and you're not paying for it. I see it acting more. Would like you batteries. still, Davy, drive the the big block? Big block? Well, as long as I can. Yeah. I see, I'm just. Car. I was about to say, like, well, we wouldn't have to be like, oh no, no, man, I would definitely have a car still with a big gas motor. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. want carbon from. Okay, it might not be a gas like as 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 like fuel, like, but yeah. it'll be a combusted. Uh, it'll, it'll be an internal combustion something. Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. Oh, we'll something. never get rid of it. We gotta have that. Yeah. yeah. But I, yeah, like I think I oh. more likely like I don't think they're gonna give up free power. Like it makes more sense for them to make like a capacitor that lasts you like two years. Like they'll give you a battery, yeah, and it'll last like two to three years, and then you or you're gonna it. have to pay a tax of some sort. You Everybody's have gonna to have to pay it. a tax. Yeah, I think so. So I speak like of that, idea. I'm I like the idea of power running around in the air. We're that talking like a little bit about news. Hang on a second here. And now it's time for the news. Car news, that is. Hold on, folks. I thought maybe we could do a little bit of uh, car news, if you will. And uh, if I could find where I have some car news stuff. Here you go. My first little bit of car news. Oh, I don't know why I did it with that one with a little extra bonus. We're going to have an extra guest, but they're not joining. So it's like the BC camper right there. Well, it's it's Porsche has actually released this rooftop tent that fix, fits everything except the Boxster. Um, I don't get it. They could have done a better job, but that's I, not a very big tent. No, no it's why? not very good looking. It, they no. said it's quick and painless setup and you know blah 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 but i, but I mean why put it on why put it on the boxer though shouldn't that go on like the cayenne or something like that everything but make the a boxer. little bit more sense everything, oh, everything but. but the boxer yeah oh, okay but yeah. still why would you want it on a 911 why would you want it on a gt3 why would you want it on oh, yeah, any like, porsche if i've got yeah. the money for a nice porsche never mind because i don't know what the yeah. price of this thing is so you think Porsche people don't like to camp no, no. Poor people love to camp, but they no, live Porsche in their people. camps. Porsche, Porsche people, people. Porsche people might like to camp, but they, I'm not taking my GT3 camping. I, no, I just I'm going to take my G wagon. I'm going to take my G wagon. I'm going to I'm going to take yeah. my my Duramax with my uh, Airstream. You've never owned a Porsche, so you don't know if you would have taken a camping or not. Maybe they're great campers. Yeah, no, they're not. Sure. No, they're not. No, they're I've, not. I've, I've, no, they're they're just they're not. Yeah, that's because you yeah. can't fit in one. Like no, I, I fit in them fine. Bear. Porsches are fine. Like, how, I've, I've fit in them. I've driven get into that. I've driven a GT3 around a racetrack. It's perfectly acceptable. Please, somebody send yeah. us a 911 with a rooftop tank so we can see Barry get into it. Like I would sell. I will ex- challenge accepted. 
without having yeah. to break the window. Without don't having to break it. anything. Yeah. How no, I can do that. that. I could absolutely Tell us how, do that. Well, how would you approach that tent, Barry? How would I approach the tent? Yeah, well, think about it. The, the right tent is awesome the because technically well, I could just side. step up into the tent. I am a giant. I could just make one step and I'm in the tent. We'll have to get you a ladder and, and, and a midget a to help you get up into it. There is a ladder on the side there. I just yeah, I know. I don't need it. I just yeah. step into the tent. It's in a porch. It's, it's, I, I can step over just, the car. You would just jump yeah, where they straight. got that ladder set up, it doesn't look like that. a very like tall area to get in there. Like the no, it doesn't look very good skinny, at all. Skinny, right? Yeah. No, it's terrible design. Just, like that, 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 that is not meant for big people. It it's might not be. really meant. I don't know. For I mean, like, I don't think I could fit in there. Tall wise, maybe yeah. I could go diagonally in there, but it's eighty three inches by fifty one inches. It's I'm only like eighty inches, so I got three yeah, inches you, of spare you spare got, you room. Got some wiggle room. You got some. Wiggle, <laughs> I got some wiggle room. room. I could shimmy yeah, you shimmy. Can, you always got your pillow in there, so your head's not going to be like at the wall, and then your yeah. feet are going to be. Yeah, it's I think not it, that I big. know. I could, I could totally do both. I could drive so it, and the I could. Conclusion sleep on it. this is that thing is only made for stupid rich people that want to go camping that are small. Yeah. Um, that's, or it's that's, made that's for the... the guy that spent all of the family's budget on a Porsche, and that's wife true. hates him, <laughs> and he needs a doghouse to sleep in. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, right. That makes sense. That <laughs> I makes think sense. that's what it is, basically. That's science, really. Yeah, no doubt, eh? What else do we nice got spot, here? News. You found a nice spot. Oh, Tesla news. Oh, so Tesla is starting to charge for its FSD system, which is currently at twelve thousand dollars and is going up to fifteen thousand dollars, which is the full self-driving mode um and you have to california the department of motor vehicle has accused the company of misleading customers about the full self-driving and also it's less capable autopilot system and they're afraid that they're just going to put children in the car to like send them to school and stuff <laughs> it's this is becoming a thing i mean I don't know I mean, if te Tesla has now become Skynet. I would that, that would be that's something that Elon Musk should do. Change the name of Tesla to Skynet. I mean, he's not wrong. Have you seen that new robot that he's got? That's I uh, got the AI brain in it and all that. I mean, I mean he's not far off. Yeah, I mean, his cars are no different. It's the same technology in the car. Oh, well, we'll see. You know. Yeah, but you know, like, sending your kids to school though. Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, it, it killed killed the. I, I prefer the creepy bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> then sending it to my. To car. this day, I prefer that creepy bus driver. Yeah, he's probably an awesome person to go hang out with. <laughs> Notice he's I called got, them person. <laughs> That's he's got it. stories. They got stories. Yeah, they definitely got stories. <laughs> uh, other news we had. Uh, oh, this one's just a beautiful, isn't it? That's. Great. Okay. This is I don't even know what I'm looking at, Barry. This is a it's disgusting like squirrel squirrel fur. It's, it's it's just a disgusting interior of a car because Geico has been ordered to pay five point two million dollars Americano to a woman who got the HPV from having sex in a car. Wait, what? Yes. Geico was ordered to pay $5.2 million to women who got HPBV from having sex in a car. Did she have sex person. with the car? Did she your have sex liability the car? extends to the things that happen in your car as well. Ah. So she hmm. she was she had a little intimate happy hour in, uh, in a car. Uh, and, uh, she basically said that, um, she got this sexually transmitted infection from a partner who knew about it, 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 but didn't it disclose his status. Barry? No, no, this <laughs> is just, this is just Barry pick a picture. Okay. Well, I, was they, like, where's the, where's well, the I saw the article and it was actually, they showed the back of a Maybach and I'm like, okay, well, that's anybody can, if I got a Maybach, I could make Drew Barrymore come have sex with me. In so the you back. chose the dead Drew, if you're listening, car, then 
<laughs> well, I was just thinking about it. I mean, let's give this guy some credit. I mean, how awesome. He's got the HPV. He's a little dirty. He got a car like this. And hey, baby, how about you come on into the back seat of my car? If you then the guy's, the the guy's a legend, you, right? If you convince the girl to have sex with you in that car, that girl's got more than HPV already. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Yeah. <laughs> just from getting into the car. She didn't have yeah. to have sex with him. She just looked at the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways. That thing's got teeth, Barry. That car has teeth. Is that not no. teeth on the dash? <laughs> I, it was, I'm just combining two stories into one for the goodness of the show. Well, it worked. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, 5.2 million because they, they had it in the car. She, she argued that his liability insurance was responsible for damages That's because work he knew course. about it. It wouldn't work under our insurance because we're no fault now. That HPV is nobody's fault. Yeah, That's nobody's not fault. my fault. Yeah. Not my fault. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Don't you remember? Oh, wait. If we shouldn't talk about that. Yeah. Armadillo. Uh, what else have we got? I'm I got sure one last one last story I part. thought I'd share. Now, this they're not that much of classic cars, but these are classic cars in the UK. Right? This, the, the wagon... Is an '85 Ford LTD, and the smashed-up car is a 1965 Grand Prix. Neither which cars are that desirable, but in the UK, they're pretty awesome cars, right? They're pretty classic, killer awesome cars. Those were both stolen, and the thief took the cars and entered them into a demolition derby. <laughs> American cars are the best on demolition. Oh, well, especially yeah, in yeah. Europe. Forget about yeah. it. Like, yeah, and yeah. I read the article, and I don't know if Volvo's he won. I can't believe he didn't win. Swing with. What's that? Yeah, Volvo's got the crumple zone and all that. Volvo would be the only one. They're that like, I, they got, but yeah, American cars are going. Well, win yeah, but that. the Volvo probably wouldn't start when you wanted it to. Well, to. Maybe. <laughs> no, they, and Volvo's Volvo's crush and crumple in an accident. They were they like let. They'd the be like a little box back in the day. That almost yeah. looks like a Volvo there. Like it's got it does, all, like that style wind. Yeah. Wheels. Yeah. No, it does. Yeah, it does look like a Volvo. Anyways, I thought that was kind of uh, thought they were a little bit interesting stories. That's an expensive car in the UK to go and. Uh, enter oh, both of those. Oh, and a '65 yeah. Grand Prix. That yeah. thing's a, that thing's definitely a land. That was the news, folks. Oh, <laughs> no, no more news. No more news. That was it. You guys have been educated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was it. So I, I think, want to talk about the breathalyzer, though. That's that's like, we. That's not well, news, I think that's thing. that's the next show. I think we talk about the breathalyzer. Okay. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that's what we've decided is going to be the. Uh... <laughs> so our next show is going to be about breathalyzers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The next show, the next time around. The next time. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back. And don't forget, stay stupid. Hey. What? <laughs> <laughs>